Hey guys, it's Cullen here. I'm back with another episode of my Factorio game. In the last episode, I was playing with trains and train stations and all those good things. Um, looks like these guys are training out now, which is exactly what we want. And then we'll convert this to copper. They're not going to be very far away at all. Be nice if they double sided, but hey. And I think I might go chasing more oil. Certainly going to need all the oil we can get. What are we at? 240. That should uh, get it down much quicker, having one side on one. It's almost there. <laughs> Alright, let's turn it back the other way. One side of it's out. What have they got left? Not much as well. Alright, let's double check that this one's going to be good to go. Uh, let's just pull them off the belt. And let's come over here. I guess I haven't done research for a little while. <laughs> okay, that's iron, that's co copper, coal, copper, whatever. Um, Do you not have a waiting clause? Um, uh, not zero, it should be sixty. Awesome. So now we have Let's do that. We can drain that out and then we'll put it back to normal. That's a much better system. Mm. 
We've got a fair bit of oil coming through now, so let's go check the oil down the bottom. So what have we got here? We have a fair bit there. We'll check on production. I did want to get that radar up at the other base, but I haven't got there yet. So, petroleum's through the roof because uh, this switch would have been working, which it stopped now because it's over 2000. Yes. Uh, it's only on if it's over 2000, which is no longer on. So, uh, less than 2000. Which means we should be getting some more light fuel. Which light fuel. You guys just could use more, I think. Well, they're not backed up, which is. And we're at nine rockets now, so. Okay, let's Okay. Just move this along a little bit, which is not that one. Um... Yes, that works for me. I mean, they're already one-sided. I don't even need to bother with that. Is that the side I was going on before? I think it was, but I can't remember. Yes. Which that this side doesn't even need to join. Because this side's already on that. But it does mean. Like that. Awesome. Now we need more chemical labs making solid. Maybe I should have just copied it directly, but anyway. Ok, 
chemical labs. I think I need three more, maybe five more. I thought I had three. Oh, they're being stored. Let's uh, we run up the top. So what do I want? I want that will be six and seven, which makes eight. So three more? Yes. Okay. So where's he getting his uh There's not going to be enough light fuel for that. Not even close. Mainly because that petroleum is going to be too much. Um. And these guys just don't go quick enough. These guys aren't even operating. Why is that? It's because their petroleum's too full. Okay, um. Let me think about this. That's fine. We'll just have to burn some of the petroleum. Just a little bit. basically put a pipe out here or here or wherever if this petroleum is above nine or whatever we'll have a pump those okay Let's put these labs down. Um, sure. Let's do another two, I think, while we set up the rest. This water's in a bit of a dumb spot, but we can deal with that. Every time. Uh, you need there, you need there, you need there. Uh, you need Okay. So you are petroleum above uh, so let's go petroleum greater than 2000 
3,100, I think. Yeah, it's a good number. And then they'll make solid fuel. Okay. And then let's output this way. done and I realized that I could easily do that and have enough power to cover it all great that should give it a solid boost while using up that all that petroleum excess petroleum anyway Which means all these will burn, which means I'll get more light fuel, and at the end of the day, I'll get more of everything. Which more of everything is a good thing. <laughs> Okay, I I'm satisfied with that. It looks like they're making it all the way down. Not quite enough, but I think it's pretty close. Actually, then again, it looks like it's enough. Everything can be solved with if conditions. What is the oil looking like? I wish I had an accurate number, but... It's saying full. That's what it's saying. <laughs> Alright, let's set up a small group of wood burning steam turbines. Yes. Okay, so what we need uh, nuclear, a single turbine. It's only producing steam, so it can throw it into the other one. It doesn't matter. Now where is this one? So if I throw it over here. So we need a... That's not the one I want. Damn it. <laughs> really need pipe. Because that's frustrating. And I probably don't need to make stone furnaces because I have how many?
Uh, we'll do six. I should have picked up some underground pipe while I was there. Cell V. I also need some requester chests. Part three. Actually, if I do it here. Where are they? Water top, steam bottom. The chest is there. Uh, yeah, like that, I guess. Okay. You are requesting wood. Just wood. For a hundred. That's fine. Oh, I should use burners. Do I have any burners? Let's request a... Do I have any in storage? I have like eight, so... They'll come down. I should just do that. Oh, come on. I thought they were in there. Fine. Oh, there they are. That's just going to burn off all the uh, excess wood we've got lying around. Doesn't have to be a lot, just has to be some. Robots are probably going to use more electricity to bring the wood to them, rather than the amount of wood that uh, they're going to consume, but that doesn't matter. That will get some of the junk out of storage. Let's uh, burn this as well. We don't need to be holding on to this rubbish. Oh, 
not their fault. <laughs> What else we got? We got a little bit of stone. So let's burn that as well. I, sh well, I should just put it in uh, this one here. Pick up these guys. Done. gonna be good. Clear all this extra logs out of the uh, economy. Okay, so let's take a quick trip up here and we'll, we'll check what trains are at the station. If there's an oil one there we'll take it and then we'll put a radar, which I should have a radar, Do I have a radar? Yes, I have one. Um. Send it. And we have a lot of oil down here now, so that's less of a concern, but... I just want to get that, um, that radar dish up there. I think this train station's working quite well. Certainly having that waiting platform will, uh balance them out when it's loaded. It doesn't matter that they didn't empty. They got close, but need to fix that intersection and probably this area as well, but like I said before in a previous episode, it's not worth micromanaging every single detail of um, your trains until it's a problem. Otherwise you'll just perfect it constantly and actually get nothing done. Which is a problem, obviously. Uh, radar, where do we want it? Oh, it doesn't really matter, does it? In some power. Now it's going to chew out about the same amount of area as we had before. I should probably run down to this one and do that as well. Just to see what's out there, because there's no point really exploring. <laughs> I can take the teleporter down to our uh, stone. Now that I think about it. Um, really don't like running in front of tracks. Where are you? Coal two. You know what? Go. I'll, I'll save the energy. What is your carriage looking like? 1.4. It's 
So we'll make sure we set it to manual. Let's hope I can make a radar again. It's a bit scary running down the side of the track like that. Uh, where do we want to put it? Oh, here will do. It doesn't really matter. There's some oil out here. Oil over here. I'll we'll probably look at that in a future episode. Let's, uh... I just want to take a ride back. Oh, once again, gee, time comes up quick when I play this game. It just disappears. Um, so I guess I'm going to have to end the episode here. So thank you for watching. Let me make sure I don't get run over when I hop out of this train. And I'll see you in the next one. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.